And as expected, we got some bad news. The good news is that me definitely being an amateur, but you know, knowing a little something, these cams look really, really, really good. This one looks like maybe it has a dry spot. But the bad news, also the good news is that these seem to be A-OK. -okay. I don't even know if I want to change them, to be honest with you. I'm going to see how I think about that. But the bad news is, dun dun dun. Now, interestingly, they look red. But they kind of look more clear red than I've seen on some things. So, I'm not sure. I mean, I'll probably have to do these. For sure, I'm not feeling that at all. Um, the good news, though, uh, at least on this, I don't feel any, can't really move the chain. So the chain might be uh, good to go, which is fucking awesome. And have good oil pressure. So I would probably, on this car, honestly, I'd probably just change these, the, um, the guides. But let's see what happens I need, I'm gonna need to do like a little research and thinking about this any input would be greatly advised I know a lot of people say uh, do the chain do the um, what you call it uh, the oil pump but my chain I don't know at least on this side doesn't seem to have much of any play and I'm more worried definitely about the the, the guides than the cams, excuse me, the chain itself. As I haven't seen many chain snaps, but I hear about guides. So, I don't know. But I'm probably just going ahead and go and change these since I have them. And uh, get to doing that. You're supposed to be able to just to pull up gently. But they're kind of hard. So I want to do it two hands. Just so I don't want to bend anything. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go start with that. See you all in a minute. <laughs> 